Metal Gear. Um, started off as a game on the MSX2. I think most of you know that already, but anyway, yeah. Weird computer, rare console thing, and uh, then uh, Ultra. Isn't that like a division of Konami? Ported it to the NES. And even though it's considered a butchered port, I actually like the game better than the other one because it actually has more music, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know, it just seems like a cool game. So uh, let's uh, pop it in and try it out. Alright, here we go. Metal Gear. Missing our gray fox. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. I'd love to hear the person say that. They'd be like, Yes, I need you to contact missing our gray fox. So yeah, punching is done with the B button and the A button. Because you don't really have any secondary weapons yet. Now sneaking by some of these enemies can be impossible. Especially the dogs in the sec third screen of the game. I mean, think about it. There's nowhere else to go. And then all of a sudden, BAM! Dogs wake up. Jeez. Oh, hey, what the? Oh. Fierce. Anyway, you continue on, you know, stealthily, not stealthily. Then you have to start at the beginning, ah, ha, 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 but you still have your binoculars. I don't know if that would entice you to keep playing, but, you know, I'm just a glutton for punishment. Continuing his journey through the jungle. Jesus. We find our hero. Say so, you now, continue along your merry way and you come to this crossroad. Don't know what to do. Just go straight. Yeah. Left and right. Nah. It just leads you right back to the same thing. And then you get to this part. You just sneak into a random truck and it starts moving. Now, how does that work? The truck have started to move. Yes, riveting translations, everybody. Okay, your turn. What do you mean, like, is this like a board game? Because he's like, all right, it's your turn. I, I don't get that. Some of this stuff really pisses me off. Not in a bad way, it's just very tedious.
Yes, the trucks sure have started to move. Now you see that, that call down there? Well, you're not supposed to answer that until later on in the game, so when you're over here, it's like, oh, well, let's just assume that you were that far in the game. So they have that, and what do you know? It's blank. Yeah, that really helps. Try every channel. Nothing. D what? I don't get it. Yeah, okay, I already know about, um, all those things the nerds said about how bad it was and shit. Yeah, I've, ad I've ad adjusted to its crap factor. But if you get used to it, it's a pretty cool game. I mean, it's pretty hard and some of the secrets are just stupid, but it's still a lot of fun to play every once in a while. But I wouldn't play it that much, you know, like something like Turtles in Time. Well, the game isn't terrible. It's not as good as the MSX2. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's still a good game, but, I mean, you fight a supercomputer instead of what's pictured on the cover. I mean, how, how cheap is that? I mean, what really... I mean, it's a... It's the greatest game ever! I mean, it's a masterpiece in the stealth genre and started it as a whole. It is the greatest game ever made.